Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Monday. Today is Monday, December 6th, and we celebrate today the optional memorial of St. Nicholas. Um, St. Nicholas was the Bishop of Mira, um, which is now in modern-day Turkey. Um, and while he has uh, a lot of legend around him, um, he certainly was instrumental in the Council of Nicaea, which was in uh, 325 AD, uh, the first Council of Nicaea. And in this council, uh, again, instrumental in combating uh, Arian uh, and Arianism, the heresy which denied, uh, denied the divinity of Christ. Arianism holds that Jesus was the, um, the highest of all creation, but a creature nonetheless. Of course, uh, we believe that Jesus Christ was not created, but indeed, as a member of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ is God. And so we uh, honor St. Nicholas um, and his defense of the truth uh, as we pray our morning prayer today. And so, friends, let's begin with our invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. God, Father, praise and glory, your children come to sing. Goodwill and peace to mankind, the gifts your kingdom brings. O most holy trinity, undivided unity, holy God, mighty God, God immortal be adored. And you, Lord, co-eternal, God, sole begotten Son, O Jesus, King anointed, you have redemption won. O most holy Trinity, undivided unity, holy God, mighty God, God immortal be adored. O Holy Ghost, Creator, the gift of God Most High, life, love, and holy wisdom, our weakness now supply. O Most Holy Trinity, undivided unity, holy God, mighty God, God immortal be adored. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, where is your God? These things I will remember as I pour out my soul, how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God, 
amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you, from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mazar. Deep is calling on deep in the roar of waters. Your torrent and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God. I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father in heaven, when your strength takes possession of us, we no longer say, Why are you cast down, my soul? So now that the surging waves of your indignation have passed over us, let us feel the healing calm of your forgiveness. Inspire us to yearn for you always like the deer for running streams, until you satisfy every longing in heaven. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. Come to our aid, O God of the universe. Put all the nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heathen that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. Thus they will know as we know that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Gather the tribes of Jacob that they may inherit the lands, the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. Nothing is concealed from its burning heat. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To enlighten the world, Father, you sent to us your word as the sun of truth and justice, shining upon mankind. Illumine our eyes that we may discern your glory in the many works of your hand. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instructions, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. 
Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. You will see his glory within you. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. The Lord proclaims, Repent, the kingdom of God is upon you. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord proclaims, Repent, the kingdom of God is upon you. Alleluia. To Christ our Redeemer, who will come again to free, who will come again to free from the power of death all those who return to him. Let us humbly pray, Come, Lord Jesus. As we proclaim your coming, Lord, cleanse our hearts of every vain desire. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord, may the church which you founded proclaim your greatness to all peoples. Come, Lord Jesus. Your law is a light to our eyes. Let it protect those who trust in you. Come, Lord Jesus. You allow the joys of your coming to be foretold by us. You allow the joys of your coming to be foretold to us by your church. May we receive you with eager devotion. Come, Lord Jesus. Gathering these prayers, these intentions, calling to mind the prayers and the intentions of our hearts, lifting up all of those people who have asked for our prayers, especially those people that we've promised to pray for. We now use those sacred words of Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, free us from our sins and make us whole. Hear our prayer and prepare us to celebrate the incarnation of your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. Um, how good it is to be able to pray the prayer of the church, to pray with the church, to pray on behalf of the church. Um, again, as we celebrate St. Nicholas today, the heresy of uh, Arian that St. Nicholas was so firmly against is this denial of the divinity of Jesus Christ. And so you and I, we believe in Jesus Christ. We believe that he is God, fully man as he came to earth, but never losing his divinity. And so this is why we follow Christ. This is what makes his victory on the cross so incredible, that God has become man, 
to save us and to set us free. So friends, um, as we meditate on the glory of the divinity of Jesus Christ, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, and if you're here in West Michigan, it is wicked windy out, so staying in seems like a good option. Remember to be Remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, but above all, remember to be holy today. May God be praised in you, may God be praised through you, and friends, I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.